Da, 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 da. Welcome back, my friend. This is BJJ Brick. Quick, my name is Byron. We're talking about jiu-jitsu in a quick fashion. That's the name of the game. This week, we're covering beginner tips. If you're a beginner, hopefully this will land on you and it's something that you could take to heart. If you're a little advanced, maybe this is something you could pass down and, and give to a beginner if they're having a tough time. <laughs> Today's tip is take a break in between rounds if you need one. That's simple. Well, let's look into the episode. <laughs> no, it's it's really that simple. It, it's that's tough to do because you only have so many rounds to train. If you're like most jiu-jitsu classes, you come in. There's a warm up. There's technique portion, and there's rolling. And if you're like most people, and I know some some beginners struggle with this, but most people who do jiu-jitsu like the rolling the most. And so taking a break during the rolling session is tough. It's like taking, you know, not doing as much as the fun part. (laughs) Nobody wants to do that. I want to get in there and roll as much as I can. But if you need a break, and and you know you better than anybody else, you might say, after after four rounds, I need a break. Well, after the first round, (laughs) it was a nightmare and you, you kind of got ragdolled, maybe you need a break after round one to recover. Here's a trick. Now, this, this may be a little bit tougher than uh, for the beginner players, but trust me, there, you'll, you'll, you'll find and meet a training partner that is a good teammate. But you could take a break to a degree while you're rolling. You don't have to sit out. That that if you are uh, one of the bigger individuals on the mats, you're you're <laughs> built more and more tanky. You might get a roll with a smaller player. Now that doesn't mean smash them <laughs> and and make it miserable for them. Just tell them, hey, I just had. I'm getting pretty tired here. I was going to sit out, but if you want to go, uh, maybe a slower pace. You can do that with anybody. It's not necessarily the size. I, I, I throw the size out there because of it's tougher for beginners. As a black belt, I could take a break with, with pretty much all white belts, with all blue belts. Purple belts getting pretty tough. <laughs> but I have the I ha, I could I could have a round that's not super tough. Get in a good position, slow some things down, work on a guard pass. Um like it doesn't need to be a tough round. I do enjoy rounds that are that are back and forth, give and take, even with the lower ranked belts. But that does take a lot more energy than a more controlled match. But beginners, this is a beginner tip. You may not have that ability, so you may just go over to a, a buddy, go up to Tim and say, "Hey Tim, I just got, I just rolled with uh, with Ben, and Ben just destroyed me. I'm exhausted. Do you, you want to?" You know, go over a few techniques or you want to go slowly. And then actually, if you do go slow, actually go slow. That's tough for beginners to do. If you want to go over a technique, you know, what did, what did the big, what did the last person tap you out with three times? Maybe they can show you a little bit about that. Nothing wrong with actually literally taking a break, sitting down, getting a, you know, a drink of water or whatever you're hydrating yourself with and, and watching your teammates work. That's fine, especially uh, if you if you need that. But you could also sneak a break in, and stay moving, kind of keep the heart rate up, but not not as high as it was. But, but just keep that workout going, keep the sweat going. You don't want to totally cool off. If you don't have a teammate like that that you could get around in with, and recover a little bit, not necessarily because you're dominating them, but because. This it's what you agreed to at the beginning of the round. You should find that person. There's lots of teammates like this. They're your teammates. Ask them to work with you. They'll work with you if you work with them. It takes a little bit of cultivating, but over time, it'll happen. You can't ask someone to go slow, and then if you're in mount the entire time and they're struggling, who cares if you're going slow? <laughs> They're going at a super struggling rate. <laughs> that does not have to do with fast. A light roll. 
or some techniques. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you want to support the podcast, go to Patreon. Kick in a buck a month. That's all it takes. There's other options as well on there. Send you out a small token of appreciation. Hopefully once we get to uh, $100 a month, which isn't a crazy goal, I plan on doing this podcast every day of the week, not just weekdays. So we'll hopefully hit that together. We'll up the show, and uh, we'll see where we go from there. I want you to have a great day, my friend, and stay sweaty, even in between rounds. <laughs>